بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد uh, This is our continuing series called Meet the Community and today Alhamdulillah uh, it is our pleasure to uh, have with us a person I spend a lot of time with in the masjid uh, probably more so than I should <laughs> uh, but I hope uh, everybody enjoys him as much as I do inshallah Assalamu alaikum. everyone. So why don't we go ahead and, and start? And the first question for you is, what is it that you do? Um, so currently, I am in my second year in college. I go to Middlesex County College. I am a liberal arts communication major there. Okay, mashallah. And uh, wh what can you do with a liberal arts communication degree? You'll have to bring um, with my liberal arts communication major, I'm planning on pursuing um, in-game development. Um, after this uh, upcoming fall semester, inshallah, mm -hmm. I'm planning on graduating from Middlesex and going into Rutgers New Brunswick for um, information in uh, informatics technology. Mashallah. And from there, I'm planning on achieving my master's and then working for a game development company. Mashallah. May Allah bless you and make you successful. I mean. Uh, can, I mean, you, think, you think you could adjust the angle a little bit so that yes. we're not looking we're not looking up at you? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, how long have you been part of the MCNJ community? I have been part of the MCNJ community for about two years now. Okay, mashallah. So you actually came after me. Yes. Oh wow, I didn't I didn't even know that. But uh, no, but that's, that's interesting. <laughs> are, what are the different programs that you're part of, or what are different ways that you've contributed to the community? Um, currently, I'm part of YM, and also I usually uh, come by during for Ramadan, and also usually help out around the um, uh, MCNJ community. Mashallah. Hey, so, where where did you live before? I I actually lived in India before this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mashallah. Um, like, hey, what are some things that you enjoy doing? Um, I'm uh, I'm really fond of video gaming. One of the main reasons why I'm actually to which I want to go into ga gaming uh, field. The other thing I like doing is basketball. Um, uh, I like a lot of teams, but I started playing basketball in like fourth grade and it always stunned to me and I kept playing uh, um, as long as possible. And can't really say cost because I, I, I'm smart in supers, but I still, uh, I'm uh, really fond of cars as well. Okay. How, how many cars do you currently own? <laughs> Currently, I own about three, and one of them is like a co-owned. Okay, okay. <laughs> and how how many of those are partner cars? <laughs> oh, one of them. <laughs> what? What is a partner purchase? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, for for those of you uh, for those of you out there who aren't familiar, uh, he he actually is uh, bought a car with my somebody else who I hope to interview. And uh, they've they've been working on it for some time now. And so you know, I just it's just a little bit of an inside joke that uh, you know I wanted to share. With you. So I I, mean, I know I know you've been in the community for like a really short amount of time, um, but uh, and I'm and I'm sure you've seen different things and different attitudes of people and how they deal with each other and you know how some of the people come together at the community. What are some programs that you would like to see happen at the masjid? Um, one of the programs I would like to see happen is for uh, even the, the younger groups that are um, younger than uh, 12, because those groups are not allowed into YM as the YM's um, age, age gap is 14. I would also like them to be also involved into, in the community as, uh, as a whole, because they are also considered a part of the community, even though they're younger. Okay, so right now the masjid has uh, something called the maktab program, and basically that's for kids who are up to the age of 13. Um, and what it is, it's like an educational program, and it's Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 7.30. So I, I maybe, maybe you're not aware of it, and that's why uh, you're mentioning it. But I, I agree that there should, should still be some type of social gathering for, for that age group, too. Um, how, how would you set up that age group, and who would you have run it? Because the thing with YM is you guys are kind of old enough to be independent, and yes. you, don't, you don't need an, you know, adult supervision. You just need an adult involved. Mm -hmm. um, when you, when you start getting 13 and younger, then you need adults involved and you need somebody who's a little bit responsible. So what is some way that like you kind of picture that or how would you see something like that happening? Um, I will have like one of the older guys run run the actual organization. But then with that, I will also um, want to make like specific um, like like it's sort of like a coordinatorship with uh, with like a core team, but in like the little groups. Okay. 
Um, so why don't we do this? Would you, would you be interested in maybe hosting something like that, like once a week? Yes, inshallah. Okay, that, that's great. So what we'll do is we'll open up the program. What kind of age gap are you looking for? Or what, you know, what group of kids do you think would be the best to put together? From, um, me. You keep hitting mute, Ben. Let me, let me unmute you again. Let's try, oh, that. Let's, 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 let's try that again. Um, some from like seven, like 13 a month from anything like with the uh, YM uh, cycles, uh, YM each group starts it's from like seven or eight to 10. Okay. I, I think seven, uh, eight, eight to 10, they might be a little bit young, but kids who are like maybe from like 10 mm -hmm. to 13, they're, they think a little bit, um, you know, their thinking is a little bit closer. And it, even if you want to extend mm -hmm. it out, even if you want to extend it out into some of the YM mm -hmm. kids, because the thing is, you know, the YM kids and some of the kids, they act really young. Yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, may, yeah, may, maybe even taking some of those kids in, I think it's a really good idea. It's just a matter of figuring out how we can kind of set it up. So uh, if you're, good. if you're definitely willing to take the lead on that, I think that's wonderful. Um, we, we can sit mm -hmm. down, we can, why don't we plan it now mm -hmm. during the quarantine thing? Yeah. And, um, I think the first step would be maybe to start have Zoom classes with some of those kids. What do you think? Yes. All right. Um, so, inshallah. I, all right. So I'll 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 let you because and it only has to be once a week. I don't I don't want a long term commitment. Mm -hmm. And it, so I just want you to do two things. I want you to give me a day and a time that'll mm -hmm. work for you. Yes. Um, and preferably on the weekend, right? Because that's yeah. that's when it's easy to get the kids. And secondly, I want you to get somebody to partner with you. I don't I don't want you to do this alone. Oh, no problem. All right. I, I, have, I have a feeling it'll be Maz, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will try to get budget into it, Maz. Okay. Because that's, I've that's seen fun. budget um, actually do coordinated ship really well, and I would try to um, get him involved. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. I, you know, I, I definitely think he's, he'd be qualified to do something like that. But, you know, make, make yourself like a small team uh, mm -hmm. so, so that, you know, you, you're not going to be available all the time. And it'll yes. be always good to have a partner there who you can always hand it off to and he can hand it back to you. And you guys can bounce ideas off each other. Inshallah, my friend. All right. So, but I think it's a great initiative. I'm really happy that uh, you're willing to step forward and, you know, to do something like this. And let's, let's see where it goes. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and to bless the effort. I mean. All right. Well, that's, uh, unless, is there anything else that you'd like to add for us? That was it, my friend. Okay. I'm all I'm good. good. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, so, like always, we would like to encourage everyone to please like, subscribe, and to donate. The link will be below, inshallah. And we have a always have a bonus question. And this one is not loaded, I promise. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. Who would you like me to interview next? Um, I think Maz. Maz, Ma Ma yes. All right, Ma Maz is on my list. Is there anyone else who comes to mind? Um... Actually, Z Zubi, uh, Mafra, Zubair. Zubair? Okay, I'll, I'll try to reach out to them. Uh, I, I make the same promise to everyone. I will definitely reach out to them. But, <laughs> but I cannot guarantee that they'll give the interview. <laughs> Fair enough? Yes. Jazakumullah right. right. khair for your time. You know, uh, and uh, I hope to see the rest of you in the next meet, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Love it.